Alex here with ASM 101. In today's video, we're going to be going over option number two. If you guys want to check out option number one, click the card in the top corner. We're going to be going over the Crescent Eve. Pay attention. There's some details in the video that are very important for you to understand the detail. Try not to focus on how fast or how long it takes me to do it. What I'm trying to do is deliver as much information as possible to you so you can gain the best understanding you can about the detail. We're using 26 gauge pre-painted steel. You can do it 24 gauge no problem and where we're getting this stuff is there's a book that we use for these details to check out that book i give all the details in option number one video so what we're going to be doing now we're let's get into the content appreciate you guys being here let's go first things first we're gonna you we're gonna unbend it same as we did here before i like to go i don't know six inches up and then Unbend everything right at the eave here. There we go. Okay, so now as everything's unbent with the crescent eave, we want to be minimum half inch up for where our, our jigs line up. This side is not really going to be, so I'm going to drop in my half inch there. Just good reference. So I just, right from my eave bend up half inch is where the, the tip of my male jig is gonna go. And that's where I line it up. Minimum half inch. I wouldn't go any less, like any closer to the eave. I've just, I've done these a few times and the um, half inch is a nice measurement. You can go more too, but and then what I'll do with this one is I'll keep this, this, it, this front nose here about a half inch up from the bottom. And that'll line things up with the other one. Okay. And we got our lines in, we're just gonna... Now with the Crescent Eve, I have a nice little tool that we, uh, that we use. It's, uh, they're the curved snips. They actually have a curve bent into them by Stubai, these are really nice. Um, but a lot of other manufacturers use them. Just trying to, sometimes it's hard to figure out which one you need. So here, I'm just gonna use these curved guys to. No, oh, that makes sense. Oh, okay, there we go. Take these, separate them a bit. And if you try and cut these with just normal snips. You'll, uh, you know, you'll understand why I'm using these because uh, your standard aviation snips are, make this a, will give you a hard time. So I'm just cutting that out of the way there. Again, nice smooth edges, very important. No, uh, no man eaters as I like to call them. Should be able to run your finger down that and not get snagged up anywhere. Okay, and then this guy, the male side, let's separate these again. Same thing with this, remember the last time. You wanna lift this up, send that guy down a bit. It's a little easier, it's a little easier to do this before the next panel's on. Before the next panel's on. So you'll have this, you'll be able to lift it up 
get your snips right in there, right down to that point there. Okay, so I've cut right into that half inch line that we made before. I'm gonna put my screws back in in a second. Got them all over the place with tools here. Okay. Just cut this right off. I need all that metal underneath. So this gets lifted up, we push that down, just like last time. And what that what that does is it nice gives us a little nice little spill out. Here, if water does find its way in there, it still can't make it past the the metal and it'll still won't get in. Okay, I'm just gonna put my screws back in. Okay, there's one more notch you gotta make. It should be right in line with this. See how those two line up, that corner and the edge of that knot? Gonna start closing the closing the seam now. I take my folders again and squeeze. Trying to get that half inch area reasonably flat before I start drawing this over. Uh, the stuff we're using is 26 gauge. pre-painted steel so it's a little lighter gauge it's definitely a lot nicer to do these details with lighter gauge material so you can see there I just took my folders and went right down to the base here and squeezed and it just it tightened everything right up as soon as I squeezed it so now that I have that squeeze all I'm going to do is start bringing this back over. Again, I'm going to kink that and then I'm going to go down a little bit lower and kink that one too. Just give it a, just remind it where, remind the metal where you want it to bend. That's how I look at it. Once I have that like that, ready to be seamed. Um, oh, here it is. I'm gonna do this, crush it. I'm gonna bring it over just a little bit to get things started. You wanna use yours? Dim it in and out. Wanna use yours? Okay. Where did that rubber go? Did I put it under here? Oh. 
Okay, and then same thing. I'm just gonna close things up. I mean, if you're on if you're on a roof, a single uh, a, a roof with enough drainage, you can get away with leaving it um, single stage like this. But just to show you guys the whole detail, you can get this folded right over. Let me stand over it. What is under there? Just fold it over like so. Not dark, eh? Oh, we'll fly. So now I just finish it up. There's tools for this. There's a nice, uh, there's a nice Eve edger by uh, by Stu Buy, and a lot of other companies have it, but I don't have one. And you don't really need it. But this really. I don't know. Oh, it's just half dead. Yeah. Bro. Bro. Oh, he's still alive? He's crawling. What? There we go. So, yeah, it just really. It just really cleans things up with that. On that front nose. And then we can go along this edge here. With our folders and just finish it off. Okay, and that's the Crescent Eve. And again, like I was like I like I stated in the beginning of the video, these will not open up on you. If you're looking for a detail, yeah, I know, right? If it's there we go. Yeah. Yeah. If it's this Okay guys, if you're interested in the other details, click or tap the screen right now on whatever option you want to learn about and understand. Uh, if not, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.